Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Fire Emblem. Today, Chapter 20, New Resolve. Let's get into it. Let's get going. Let's get back on track, because we want to do this. At last, Ellie was long away to reunion with his father, as well as their painful farewell. After escape from the Dread Isle, they returned to the port city of Badon. Baden, bad on. Bad wolf. <laughs> Ellie would remain silent for the duration of their passage. He sits cradling his father's cold hand as if to warm him back to that is... That's pretty grim. I'm not going to lie. That is extremely grim, and uh, that's it's dark. This game gets dark, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. Very dark indeed. Ninian, are you feeling better? Yes. That's good. Long time no see, Nils. You've grown, haven't you? Is it really you, Lindis? Seems like it's been so long. Even though it's only been a year since I last saw you, so much has happened since we left you and Kaelim. Hey, get to talk about things the rest of us can follow? Hmm, who's he? This is Hector. He's Marcus Ostia's brother. Don't let his attitude fool you. He acts mean, but he's decent enough. Acts mean. Seems pretty mean to me. Hehe. <laughs> and you might remember this one. He's... Yeah, but I remember. He's the man who helped Ninian. You're Albert, son, right, aren't you? Your red hair, gentle eyes, and even voice. You're just like him. Where did you meet my father? At the Dragon's Gate? He set us free after we'd been captured. We escaped in a small boat, but I was thrown out in a storm. When I woke, I was back on for law. For a time, I hid in the ruins by myself. Then I said something really dangerous. When I raced through the Dragon's Gate, I, I saw everything. Nels. When we pulled Ninian from the boat, she lost her memory. I can't believe we brought her right to back to her captors. What a horrible thing to do. I'm sorry. Lady Lynn, Lady Lynn, you did nothing wrong. When Nils fell overboard, I didn't know what to do. I be became lost within myself. If only I'd been stronger. All of this could have been avoided. I am truly sorry. Noon's power is greater than mine, but it caused her physical and emotional strength. Nurgle exploited that weakness. Ninny and Nils. Was he after you because you have the power to call dragons? I think it's because we can open Dragon's Gate. Just calling them? Nurgle can do that on his own. Are you serious? Yes, but it requires a tremendous amount of quintessence. Quintessence? I thought Nurgle called it. The substance of the human spirit, power, energy. The essence of life itself. Nurgle, he stole this quintessence. What happens? What happens to those quintessences stolen? They, they die. Hmm. That's Lily and I have that power. Lin knows, we only have our special power. Anyway, Nurgle needs to gather a large amount of quintessence. So he sent his henchman Ephodel to get close to Marcus Louth. He sought to plant the seeds of war in Darren's power, hungry heart. To what end? It seems the quintessence in each person varies in strength. A person of strong mind and body has hundreds of times more energy than the average person. Sounds like there aren't many people who like that though. It took too long for Noah to find people with enough strength. Although it would take time, Noah said the easiest way to get that much of quintessence was by starting a war. So he planned to make up for quality with quantity, is that it? Black-hearted fiend! It all meant nothing but pawns to him! That's how brought Albert to... To Dragon's Gate! He said he found the ideal source there, so... Nurgle's plan for war has been stopped, and yet he was happy! He's taking so much energy from the night travelling with Albert, he was sure he'd get even better quintessence from Albert! Nils! Oh, I'm sorry, Lord Elliwood. It's alright. When I found my father at the Dragon's Gate, I knew his knights were no longer alive. Elliewood. Your father told us that he had a son. He said you were blessed with natural fighting ability, but he also said through compassion and disdain in fighting. He told us that his son would be a better ruler than he was. Mm. He told us that he would sooner sacrifice himself than see his homeland Lithia embroiled in the flames of war. That's... When we all lost hope at the Dragon's Gate, your father always spoke to us of happy things. Well, he mainly spoke of Sherry's son and his dear wife, but he and I, we loved him very much. His stories about his family, they saved us. Oh, fa... Father... Hector? We should let him be alone for a while. Sure. Come on, Ninian, Nils. As you say. Lord Elliwood. Hmm? Ninian, I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry about before, I just needed some time to think. Should you be up? You've had a rough time. 
Your coloring's not very good. You should rest. Look at you. All scratches and bruises. You need to be properly taken care of. Why? Hmm? Why was Lord Albert so... Lord Elliot, why were you both so kind to us? It, it's, this is this is all my fault. These nightmares, all these terrible things. Minion, crying ill suit a girl of your beauty. I'm fine. Please don't cry. I'm sorry. So sorry. There's something you must hear. You're not responsible for what happened to my father. You suffered as much as he did. Please don't punish yourself further. Lord Elliot, I, I. Ah! Huh? What is it? Oh. Ninian? Enemies! Enemies draw near! Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! So what do we do now? I wonder what happened to Nurgle. Lord Albert gave him a grievous wound when he stabbed him. His wound will not kill him. So what Lord Albert said too. Do you know what he meant? Nurgle used the quintessence on himself as well. His wounds heal quickly. His body does not age. So he isn't human? If nothing else, he's... Ah! What is it? Call everyone! Enemies approach! Bah, Hollywood deserves a little more time to rest! Well, then we'll handle this ourselves, shall we? Okay, the gang's together. Here you all are. Ah! Hollywood. Listen, get ready for battle. I want to get this over quickly to protect the villagers. Meet the enemy commander and drive them out of here. Hey, little guy, go hide in the village! No way, I can help you out! Nils, you really are a big help, but shouldn't you be with Mininian now? Alright! Let's go! Okay, so here we are, with a new map. And I believe this is quite a small map, I mean, relatively speaking. It's not huge, there's uh, obviously a lot of enemies around, but they're of course in the dark, because that's where they are, they're hidden in the darkness, so we're going to have to... Uh, believe in a thing called love because the darkness have hidden them from us uh, and the only way to see through the darkness is of course to believe in a thing called love um, yes anyway uh, not many units allowed on this map which uh, could be interesting we also have a, have an arena uh, arena could be abused by myself or certain characters so I am probably gonna go ahead and choose the guys I'm gonna use sort out all my items and everything and uh, I'll see you guys in one second Alright, so let's uh, take a look at what I've just done. Um, Elliewood, obviously we have to have Hector and Lynn. Priscilla for healing, I want Sarah as well. And then we brought Florina along because she's going to be kind of necessary. And also there's kind of a thing that we need to get for her here. Uh, Dart, I want to kind of level him up because he will be very useful in the future. Canis, I have decided to bring over Urk, even though Urk is very high to leveling up. I thought that with the arena in this chapter, Canis would be the one to mainly abuse it, and he's a lower level, and I kind of want him to do that. And I kind of want him to have the gilding ring, or the guiding ring, before um, Urk does, in a strange way. I don't know, I just kind of want to have that going down. Uh, Raven obviously needs uh, to be leveled up so that he can uh, evolve, as it were, and I'm pretty much going to go with that. Pretty much going to go with that. I don't have... I have Dart with a torch, but aside from that, it's pretty much that. We're going to check the map quickly, and... Um, Formation wise, I want to keep Florina here so that she has an easy time of going up because there's a village up here which has uh, an item that she dearly needs and I am really wanting to get it because if I don't get it, uh, I'm going to kind of be pissed. Um, it's necessary that I get that item. So that's what we're going to go we're gonna kinda, we're gonna kinda go for. So, uh, no Oswin this time, but uh, I think that we can deal with the bandits without him. He's not really necessary. Hopefully, at least. Let's just dive in. Alright, let's deploy my lens. Okay. Nin, stop, where are you going? I, I'm going to help. Oh, you're not. No, you're not. You're still too weak. But I only wish to help Lord Elliwood. Even if just a little. I, I stole his father's life from him. I know this this will never make up for it. Nils, please. Understand. Give me your hands. Nils? I'll give you some of my power. You'll just get in the way if you go out like this. Nils, I'm sorry. Oh look at that beautiful artness. Artness, sure, that's a word. Phew! I have to do it. Help them for me too. Thank you. Alrighty. So Ninian's gonna join us, I guess. Lord Elliwood. Ninian, you shouldn't be here. Please, allow me to help. 
Help? I've no intention of making you fight. I'm no mere dancer. My dancers, they'll help you. Well, look at this. Nini's Nini's Grace. So there you go. This is... I'm wrapped in some sort of energy. I use Nini's Grace and dance for you, Lord Elliwood. It'll only last a short while, but while it does, you are protected. Please, allow me to remain at your side. Ninian, of course, if it will make you feel better. Let's rejoin the battle. Don't leave my side. Okay. Alrighty, so, uh... Ninian, I will tell you exactly what to do. I am... I, I know exactly what we shall do. So, we're gonna start off here <coughs> with, um... Callus going down here, going for, um... Some smacking these guys in the face of the flux. We're gonna hurry it up, though, because... Freaking... I don't wanna be pissing around here. Get a level up straight away, because, you know... Callus, he's, he's the man. He is the man. Um, Legol want to bring up here so we can see what's ahead of us. Uh, we've got one mage down there and one up here, which isn't actually too bad. We can deal with those pretty aptly. And I'm actually going to bring Lynn ahead of the pack. Um, first, though, I kind of want her to uh, be sorted out. Um, first of all, though, I'm actually going to go up here with Florina and take out this magician with the shine. Um, Florina just works out best in this situation for for scouting and such things and and also for helping with other things. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we'll send a shine back to Melinus. Yes, we shall. Lucius can use that, I guess. Future. I'm going to get Elliewood to just kill this this guy straight up because well, I have the boost from the Nini's Grace. Nini's Grace, whatever you want to call it. Nini's Grace. Nini's. The Nini's. The Nini's Grace. That's what I want. <laughs> In his grace. Alright, so we're gonna actually have Lynn come up here and then I'm gonna use Ninny's grace on her as well. Uh, we're gonna dance and go like that. I probably could have used it on Legal actually, because not the grace, but just normal dance, because then he could have scouted out more of the area, but uh, I'm not really too bothered about it, honestly, so that's that, I guess. Uh, we'll get Hector to go visit this village and uh, see what this El Crow wants to give us. We'll just skip through this because you don't really need to read anything that she says. We got a Restore, which is a very useful uh, wand, which will restore um, status. Uh, statuses? Restore statuses. Um, yes, it will restore statuses. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying now. Um, I'm actually going to use a barrier on Dart, and then I can send him down. Uh, and because he has the barrier, the increased resistance should allow him to deal with these magicians aptly. And he has a hand axe equipped as well, so he should be able to deal with those guys. That's my real plan over there. I'll let uh, Raven kind of chill, and uh, we'll be done. We'll be done with that. With that chapter, at least. Okay. He's going to attack. See, and now he's going to do zero damage to me. As you can see, the plan has worked. Plan has been initiated and has been successful so far. So uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, Florina probably wants to move across there, though. I'm actually not sure as to regard as to regards. Um, yeah, as as regarding the uh, whether there's any archers up here or not. I actually don't know if there are any archers. So I probably have to watch out for those guys with Florina obviously being around. I'm gonna actually bring Legolt up here. Um, just as a scout, and uh, and then we'll get Canis. First of all, we'll get Elliewood to take this guy on with a snow. We'll go with the rapier because we have a much better chance of that. Um, hopefully, dodge. Good, nice miss there. Then we can get Canis to finish off this guy, and then I'll get Lynn to kill the next guy. At least is what I'm hoping is going to happen. So we'll just go for the flux and finish him off. Get a torch, actually. That's nice. Uh, I'll just send I'll send the gilding or the guiding ring back to my list for now um, and I'm actually gonna use Nina's grace on Lynn again here just because uh, we want her to not have trouble against this this guy and uh, I know it just works out better I feel and we got a crit straight away so hell yeah the money carty it's very good against the horses men's the horses men's all the horse women and all the horse men couldn't put Lynn together again or maybe they could who knows uh, anyway we'll try and make our way over to this village as aptly and as quickly as we can um, 18 damage to that thing that's fine let's try it out 
and Lightning's going to do basically nothing. And hopefully next turn we can take them both out because they'll both want to be attacking Dart. So that should be good. We obviously have Priscilla on hand to deal with any problems and Sarah's obviously there to, to deal with more problems. Um, I'll send Hector down here and he can clean up some shit, whatever he wants to do. And I'll end the turn there. That's fine. That's fine. What's going on? There are oh, these brigand bandits, guys. Brigand bandit guys. Oh man, I'm only doing five damage. Holy shit, Florina. You need to get your, uh, to get your, um, what do you call it? Your ass in gear. That's what they call it. Your ass in gear. Yes, truly, truly indeed. All right, Dart taking no damage like a boss because he is one. He's freaking. He's he's pretty damn cool. Dart is probably the other axe user I'm going to be using. Hector and Dart make sense. Um, you know, I know there are other decent uh, abusers and users that one may choose to, to try, but uh, I like these guys and they're pretty decent, so whatever. Get Sarah to deal with uh, this Wyvern, the Black Fang, as it were. And she's going to get a level up. Hey, that's cool. I'm approving. I have approval of the situation right now. Oh, wow, five! Sarah's getting the boosts that she wants. She's getting the boosts. Boosting beautifully. Alright, we'll wait here and see what happens in this scenario. Okay, that bandit's kind of being a pain in the ass. And there's the archer over there, so... Oh, I can't quite make it to the house at this point. Slightly frustrating, considering that the archer can actually reach Farina right now. If he gets the ballista, though. That's only if he gets the ballista. Hmm. Well... This is a little bit of a, uh, it's not a huge issue actually, because we do have Ninian. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get Ninian to actually dance for Sarah. Then I'll get Sarah to draw the uh, bandit. Well, actually, just kill the bandit straight out. As long as she kills the bandit, then we should be good to go. Finish him off. Um, <coughs> And then the archers kind of needs to be sorted out as well. Though he is, I guess, less of a concern, perhaps. Still, we do want Lynn and uh, Hollywood protecting her, and we'll probably have Canis come out here as well. That should be fine. Um, Dart, let's just finish off uh, with a steel axe. It's 64. I think I have a higher chance of hitting with a, a hand axe, actually. No, 59. Uh, I guess we'll attack with the seal axe then. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. And we do. Slice off that minuscule amount of HP. And Dart is up to level 9, I believe. But, uh, wow. Time does fly by quite quickly. And we are pretty much at like 17-ish minutes. So, uh, in the next episode, we'll continue. See what happens. And we'll uh, use Florina to kill this Wyvern guy. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.